hi everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm doing a tutorial for this soft neutral everyday look this is something you can easily wear for work and i've used all drugstore affordable products for this makeup so let's get started after prepping my skin with moisturizer and sunscreen i'm going to go in with this bb cream by the derma co this gives a really nice light natural looking coverage to the skin and has some fantastic ingredients like 2% niacinamide which is a wonderful all-rounder ingredient for evening out the skin tone and strengthening the skin barrier. It also has 1% hyaluronic acid complex for hydrating and plumping the skin and Aquaxil which is a complex of hydrating and skin strengthening ingredients. I like how this makes my skin look, it's great for every day for a natural look. It also blends really nicely with fingers so you don't really need tools. I will then go in with a concealer later for some areas like the under eyes and on any acne spots for higher coverage. It also has SPF of 30, added bonus, it is fragrance free and priced affordably at $3.99. It would be great to see a few more shades in this, right now this comes in one universal shade. I've been enjoying a lot of the products from the Dermaco, they are affordable and effective and I also really like their initiative in partnership with Bhumi. I also have a code in case you'd like to try out any of the products which will get you 20% off. Please check the description box below. I'm now going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in number 30. Now this shade is a little more orange toned, slightly darker, so it's going to act as a color corrector. So I'm using it only in the darkest areas of my under eyes and that one acne mark that I have. Then going in with a brush to gently buff that into the skin and I'm making sure I'm not spreading this too far away from the eyes, just keeping it concentrated in the darkest areas to correct and then i'm going in with a concealer which is actually my skin tone this is by wet and wild and this will actually do the job of gently brightening and giving me some good coverage so that's it all the coverage is done let's go in with the color now i'm going in with this brow define micro pencil and this has a really fine point so it's really uh, good to do fine strokes hair like strokes with this one and this is really really affordable it's one of the best underrated pencils at the drugstore now i'm going to go in with a cream blush i love a cream or liquid product for the cheeks in the winter it's just a bit more forgiving especially if you struggle with dry skin this one's really nice because it's not too wet and it settles to a bit more of a satin finish as you blend it and the color is just so beautiful it's one of those shades that instantly brightens up your skin and it's going to work really nicely for deeper skin tones as well because I have a really oily T-zone, I like to use a powder just in the center of the face and on the eyelids. Because my eyelids are quite oily, I often get eyeliner transferring to the socket line. And to prevent that, it's good to prep your eyelids with a bit of loose powder so that it can absorb the oils that are secreted by the skin and prevent your eye makeup getting creased or messed up. I'm going to take this bronzer and I'm going to use it as an eyeshadow first. So I'm just laying down a soft wash of color and this is just that perfect soft brown that doesn't really go into smoky territory but it's not too light either and it just gives a nice wash of warmth to the eyes. And then I'm going to use this on the cheeks as well just for warming up my complexion a little bit. And I'm using a fluffy brush and just placing it slightly under where I've applied the blush color. Now let's go in with eyeliner. The eyeliner is a bit of um, a star in this look I would say because it's a burgundy color and it's not a very common shade but I feel like it just works so well for lots of different eye colors. This one is by Revlon and what I'm doing is is applying a little bit of it, smudging it, smoking it 
and then building up the liner this way and then I'm gonna go in with an eyeshadow in the same shade and set my liner with it by pressing the eyeshadow on top of it this is going to give it more richness and it's also going to prevent the liner uh, from transferring to your socket line later in the day now finishing off the eye look with some mascara i'm using the pro xxl lift from l'oreal paris really like this because it gives nice density makes the lashes long and um, i just really like the thickness it gives to my lashes make sure you do the bottom lashes as well to really define and open up the eyes coming to the lips i'm going to use a lip liner first this is a nude pink color and what i'm doing is not just lining the lips but also filling them in and this is going to act as a base for my lipstick and it's going to help it last longer the lipstick i'm using is quite uh, almost like a balm and it's a beautiful mauve toned pink that looks so good for everyday wear for work it's very subtle understated and also really moisturizing and i love the resulting lip color so you can see in this look i've done a bit of a mix of cool and warm tones um, but i think it works i think the burgundy liner really ties in the pink lip with that warm bronzy brown eye so that's the final finished look i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you like this look and if you'll try it out thank you so much for watching i will see you soon in my next video bye